Welcome back guys. So I put out a question on Instagram basically saying, what do you want to know? How, what can I teach you? And quite a few of you got back to me with, how do you make your images glow? So I'm going to show you now in Photoshop exactly how I brighten up my images and get that glow effect. So let's get into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. Uh, here's an image that I've edited earlier. I've already done a bit of glow to this, but I'm just going to show you how to add more on top of that. So I'm going to show you now a non-destructive way of how to add that glow. So it's relatively simple. It's a quick technique. So I'm just going to go make a curves adjustment layer. I'm just going to boost that a little bit. So basically you want to kind of look at the image and make sure it's not completely overexposing. You're just lighting it a little bit. So now we've got that. I'm then going to double click on the layer and it's going to bring up this layer style box. At the bottom here where it says underlying layer, we're going to drag this slowly to the right. So what we want to do is get to about the stage where the highlights, the bits we want to glow are there. So it's going to look quite harsh to start with, but we want to get about to where we want it. And then we're going to hold Option or Alt, click on that and it splits it. And then we're going to just take it either side. And then we can either leave this as normal or change it to soft light if you want it to be a bit less strong of an effect. I'm going to click OK. And you can see already you've got an instant glow that's really natural because it's actually highlighting the areas that are already highlighted. Instead of like a global dodge and burn, which would kind of do an overall thing where you pick where it's going to be by painting it on, this just works with what already exists. So it makes things look a bit more natural than just kind of hand painting it on with a, a dodge and burn technique. So you can see here as well, it's actually affecting the bit in the background. If we wanted to just affect the face, we can just go onto the mask here, click that, and I'm going to invert it with Command and I or Control and I. And then we're going to use the B tool to make a brush. I'm going to get a soft round brush. Make that white. And then it's going to paint onto the mask that's currently black, white. And then that will just reveal underneath the areas that we want to highlight. So if we wanted to include it on the hands as well, we could just paint onto the hands too maybe a little bit onto the shirt and you can see here that if we turn that on and off you get the glow just in the areas that you want to. One thing I am noticing here as well is it's made the skin a bit yellower where I've increased that contrast. So what we could do too is just go new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, just drop the saturation a little bit maybe to minus 10 I'm going to use here and I'm just going to use this clipping mask this little thing at the bottom here that will then attach it to just the layer below. So it'll only affect what we've adjusted on the curve. So it won't affect anything that's outside of that range. And then if you want to increase the technique, you can also just double click back on the curves. And because we've got the area selected that we want to, we can just play with it here. And you can even kind of reduce the highlights if you want to or increase them even more. So it's good balance of kind of like finding out what looks good. Once you've got the area selected, then you can come back in and really make your the tweaks that you want to do. So one last before and after, before, after, and you can really see how that glow has been added there. If you did find this useful, please consider subscribing. And if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, that's at Adam Brazier Portraits. And remember, always be creating. See ya.